Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Every year we welcome 2,300 international high school students from 90 different countries to the U.S. They study here and live with host families. Now for the student and the families, this arrangement is memorable and often <laughs> friendships last a lifetime. Selfie! I love that. <laughs> That's a great picture. <laughs> Stephanie Schultz is the chapter president for the Whitefish Bay AFS chapter and she's here with host mom Alicia, Alicia Altstetter and uh, the student she's hosting from Switzerland. This is Lucas Butikoffer. Yes? Oh, you said that good. <laughs> yeah, good close. That was, that was I, did, good. I did my best. But uh, uh, Lucas, obviously a very cool kid here in the U.S. Uh, visiting us and uh, Alicia this must have been a really fun experience for you having Lucas show up at your house and uh, going oh, this is my student yay <laughs> um, how did you decide you wanted to do this well first we were um, we had wanted to just travel to Europe as a family but that you know didn't work out with um, we have a really big family so we decided to bring Europe to us and so we brought Lucas in kind of as a learning experience for my kids and it's been great. That is so cool. How many kids do you have? Four. So you have four and then you brought it. So it's almost like having a fifth child. Yeah. Yeah. For the, year. For like, the duration. And right. <laughs> for the school year, he's sort of like their brother. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah. I know people did. They thought we were crazy, you know, bringing a, a <laughs> fifth kid in, but it, he had just uh, assimilated right away and bonded with everyone in the family so it's been a really positive experience my kids take German in school so they can uh, speak German together that is very so cool. and he can tell them no we don't actually really say that <laughs> right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're learning that but no we don't say that yeah that's not something we actually say um, Stephanie talk yeah. a little bit about AFS and and the organization itself how it works sure so AFS has been around for more than 65 years and we are really trying to find families and students like this to really support it, a fantastic international student exchange program in order to be a host family if mm -hmm. there are people there who'd like to yeah. consider it because Lucas is a great kid I know yep. him personally and there I I think if you could have sure. a student in your home who would add so much to your family, it'd be wonderful. Yep. What do you have to have as a host family in order to provide the space and, 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 and the, the, throughout the school year what they need? You know what? It's just, just like Alicia had said, like it's really just like welcoming another child into your home. So the basics, food and lodging is what the mandatories are and providing a really loving home um, to make sure that we have really great candidates both for the students and the host families. There's a really great interview experience too. There's an application one needs to fill out and we just work really hard to make sure we find a really great fit for both the student and the host family. It's wonderful. Yeah. Lucas, what do you think of the U.S. and uh, <laughs> Milwaukee in general? Um, I like it a lot. So I think it's awesome. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of Milwaukee and uh, like Michigan mm -hmm. and I really enjoy going to the beach. And I'm actually a big fan of your school system here and your school sports because we don't have them in Switzerland. Really? No school yeah. sports? No, unfortunately. <laughs> so I, I just joined the tennis team, which is a lot of fun, and I think it's a great way of getting involved and making new friends. That is so cool. Yeah. What is it, does it feel like being part of a family when you're with your host family? Do you feel like a part of the family? Oh, yeah. It's become like, if you get along pretty well with your family, what I do, so it, it becomes a lot easier, and it's just feels awesome. So, yeah. That's great. What about going into a new high school? Because you came into Whitefish Bay High School as a senior, right? Yeah. What's it like to assimilate and, and have to make new friends and kind of and start as a senior and, and do it just for one year? Well, making new friends is, is one challenge, but like I said, I joined um, school sports here. I joined soccer in the beginning and that made it so much easier and it, it was just awesome to yeah. That's great. How many kids are chasing you around going, say something in German? <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually a lot. Yeah. Especially since we speak a different kind of German in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Then they're always wondering, like, what, what do you say for this? And yeah. It's are you friends with other AFS students at your school? Yeah. There are three auto exchange students at my school. Okay. And so you can, that probably helps too because you share the same experience. Yeah. It's, it's easy to talk to them because they go through the same things than you do and they understand you pretty well. So. When you go back to Switzerland, then will you go back to school there, or has this completed your senior year and your? Actually, I, I I'll go back to school and I'll have three more years. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be a sophomore when I come back, and yeah, I have That's to wild. retake this year. Is school hard yeah. in America? Actually, a lot of people say it's it's way easier here than in Europe, but I, I don't think it's that much easier. So I, I think school is is pretty similar from like 
That's I'm good artist. to hear. That should make us feel a little bit better. <laughs> yes, Alicia, definitely. do you kind of feel now like you'll have a friend in Switzerland for life? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we plan on visiting Switzerland and, uh, yeah, seeing Lucas again. I mean, he is part of our family, so we'll keep in touch. That's awesome. You know what Lucas told me during the break, I have to point this out because I didn't even, this didn't dawn on me, that Switzerland as a country is about the size of what, a quarter of the size of Wisconsin? Exactly, yeah. And you can drive from one side to the other in three hours. Really? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. See, but all the, the things that you can take away mm -hmm. as being, you know, the, the host family mm -hmm. from having your student in your home, it's, you know, mm -hmm. trivia like that, but also just the experience of getting to know somebody who lives a different culture. Absolutely. So what should people do if they're interested in, in hosting a student, and, and what's the time frame? Should, be they, should they be acting now? That would be wonderful. So we are currently looking for more than 50 host families in the greater Milwaukee area. And if you'd like to learn more about being a host family, you can visit afsusa.org backslash host family. And input your information there, someone will follow up with you. Uh, it's a really great volunteer organization. I was a host sister, I've hosted a student as well, and I was an exchange student. So people that are really involved are passionate about the organization, and they're I'm really excited to talk to new host families. That is awesome. Here's the information again, repeating the website that Stephanie just mentioned. It's afsusa.org backslash host dash family. The phone number to call for more information on this program or to host a student at your house is 262-377-1853. Great to talk to you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.